Amen. Let's turn to the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 18. We're not going to finish this today. We're going to do a little bit and sit on down. Amen. Ephesians 1 and 18. Copas, would you just read that for us? And let's just break that down just a moment before we go into the word. Ephesians 1, 18. The eyes of your understanding uh -huh. being enlightened, mm -hmm. that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. Now, now, now Paul is saying here that... Uh, <laughs> that we need to have a greater understanding in our heart so our eyes can see the enlightened blessings of God. Now, 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 many times before you can see something, you got to feel something. Before you can say something, you got to have something. Well, okay. Now, now, and so hope is something that you have but it's only enlightened as you continue to trust God. That's right. And the more you have hope, it gives you a basic understanding of what life is all about. Amen. Sometimes you look at folks and they go through troubles and trial and they, they should have been a backslidden yeah. condition. They should have been in an insane asylum. Yeah. They should have been cursing, cussing God. Yeah. But because of the hope oh, that they have, yeah. it gave them understanding yeah. that where can I go? Yeah. I mean, I don't try the other side of the fence. I, I don't been on that side. I don't try that life. I don't. I don't try the partying. And I don't try the amen, the cussing and swear. I don't try the drinking and. I don't try that life. Hallelujah. But the more I'm in God, the more hope I have in Him. It gives me understand. Oh, I made the right decision. Yeah, you know, sometimes questions come up. I. You know, folk get married and they, they get all happy and everything and, and they, they just praising God and having a good time and then something, they run into bumps and trials and trouble and sometimes the devil try to put that question in mind, did I make the right decision? Did, did I? Did I mess up? <laughs> As you hope in God, he, he lets you understand one thing, that every situation you're in has different circumstances marriage has advantages and disadvantages being single has advantages and disadvantages but you got to know you're in the will of God in whatever state you're in so that your eyes and your heart may be enlightened so you can do what co-pastor Hayes read you can that understand that you may know what is the hope of his calling now know is more than just having knowledge we all know Jesus and know about him and know certain things and know the Bible. But knowing also means comprehending. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is good. But comprehending the knowledge you have is what we need. Amen. You, we need to not only know what God has for us, but we must comprehend the hope he has called us to. Everybody in this church got a calling. Yours ain't like mine, mine ain't like yours. Your calling is to do what God called you to do. And when you know what your calling is, then you are rich in your calling. Amen. See, nobody can out sing JFT choir. Thank you, Jesus. Now, now, we got some good singers around, <laughs> around here and they telling all this stuff. But singing without the Holy Ghost is just making noise. All right, Bishop. Singing without the love of Jesus is, is like a clamoring cymbal. But when you see people singing in love and faith and power, it does something to the congregation. It does something to your soul. It does even even when the soundtrack stops, the, the song goes on. Oh, oh, revelation. Sometimes we have songs in our life and we play by we go by music, but sometimes the music stops. Sometimes the music changes. But give me a man and woman of God that don't care what changes, that song on the inside, keep right on singing. Somebody said there's a song over my head. I hear music. That got to be a God somewhere. Whoa, oh, glory to God. All because I know what the hope of God is. Rico Pastor. Hallelujah. Jesus. And what the riches uh -huh. of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Lord, riches. Riches. Oh, y'all want to hit the lottery and you want to you get a good contract and make a whole lot of money. 
Lord, I found out that money ain't happiness. No, no, you rich in Jesus. You rich in hope. And y'all better have some powerful hope right now with this new election coming up here. This, this election, of Sister Giles, has been uh, the, 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 the different one in the, since, since George Washington got elected. <laughs> we thought President Obama being the black, first black president was, was a phenomenal feat, and it was. But this one just kind of just stands out. It, phenomenal more. Even phenom you don't know what's going to happen. God trying to push us back to heaven, push us back to hope, push us back to the things of God. The blessings of God are glorious, for God has promised us blessings. Now, when you get a promise from God, you can take it to the bank. You can hold fast to it. 